As the lights turned green from red, we embarked on a journey to Adafwa, from the nation's capital, to meet the old, young, and entrepreneurs who have experienced life's changing events due to sea level rise, flooding, and erosion in coastal communities, and the socio-economic impact on their local community and the world at large. Sea level rise again occur at any place in the world. Uh, I've heard that because of the ice melting and this, the sea level has risen. But how much has the sea level risen is another issue. According to NASA, there has been at least four millimeters rise in the sea level per annum. But is this rise significant enough for us to be concerned? In the 70s, we started seeing that the sea had been so vigorous or boisterous, and the waves were so strong, and it was just eroding the land over the area. The erosion took away the four township, took away the small, small villages or towns, again like uh, my holy village, Azizanya, took them all away. To the people of Adafwa and its neighboring towns, what could this coastal erosion be due to? The effect of the dam on the river water has brought about this the erosion over this area. Before the dam, every around August, July, August, because of the rain, the river water will overflow its bank to Adan and the water will enter the sea at Adan. The water will come so much that it will enter the sea and it will go on top because it is lighter than the sea water. It will flow on the, on the sea water up to Tema and then towards uh, 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 Lome. And then in that the, the same direction towards the southern part, towards America. That's what we have been saying. Towards the southern, so many miles. Into the, into the sea. Huge volume of water gets into the sea almost every second. And it calms the sea, the waves of the sea as it moves in. At a dam, it's about 40 to 50 millimeters into the sea. The fishermen were telling us that on the sea, looking direct to the estuary, they could, they could get fresh water. The absence of that uh, discharge, huge discharge into the sea, it's bringing about the, the strength of the high waves that we are getting. Well, when you watch the front view of the river, you see it's rough, very rough and very deep. Yeah. And this river is just coming. Because of the sea waves, the sea tides that enter into the river, the tide gets very high and then it starts eroding the whole beach. About in a month, we lose more than five to eight meters of land. Having lost his first beach resort by the coast of Ada, the CEO of Midas Beach Resort has hoisted flags and has been moving them inland with the erosion. He also uses temporary structures like chairs and the umbrellas to avoid seeing his investments being washed away by the sea. Moving through the deserted coast from Adafwa to Pute, Nothing stops us from enjoying the fresh coconuts. Fort Congestein, built in 1783 by the Danes for trading, now stands in isolation since being washed away by the sea waves. Next to the traces of the fort is the building of Mr. Okanse, the merchant. His mansion was well spoken of in the late 60s and early 70s. Classroom blocks, partly on the coast, with majority on the sea, abandoned magistrate courts in an abandoned town. Ada boasts of outstanding beaches and exquisite riverfront scenery. Millions displaced from where they once called home. 
the sea like an unpaid landlord, driving away the masses and swallowing the rest. Now there was mostly nothing but sea, sand, and broken frames left behind where life used to be.